it just looks like a mirror ball. I like it. You can see like I use this bag. Um, I think the only thing with this bag is that it is very hard to get into. But me personally, no bags. If you ever feel alone, cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone in a second. Hey family, hey, what's going on? Yancy here. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been, you guys. All right, so hopefully everyone's new year is starting off fantastic. If it's not, hopefully we can change that, all right? If you're new to this channel, you guys, my channel's all about luxury, lifestyle, and some travel. So we will definitely be doing a lot more traveling this year and 2024, okay? So I'm gonna definitely bring you along for all of the travel details, okay? But if you like bag unboxings, if you like bag reviews, if you like styling videos, so on and so forth, then hopefully this channel is for you. And if it is, go ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Do not, and I repeat, do not forget to hit that bell. That way you're notified every single time that I upload. That way I don't miss you, you don't miss me, and we're here, all right? All right, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm not gonna make it a really long video. I'm not gonna talk you guys to death or anything like that. I just wanted to show you my bags that I purchased for 2023. They're not a lot because I was trying to have a no buy year. However, it's kind of hard to have a no buy year when it's like your birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day, so on and so forth. I will definitely say, even though you're having a no buy year, you might be having one this year. If you at any point in time see a sale, see something you like, retail therapy, you guys go ahead and buy the bag. Go ahead and buy the shoes. Go ahead and buy whatever it is that you want to buy. Who am I to tell you not to use your money on what makes you happy? All right. All right. So that's first and foremost. But either which way, I think this year is definitely going to try to be a no buy year because I am trying to travel. I want to put all of my money into traveling, into experiences, and into just adventure. So with that being said, hopefully I'm going to stick to a no buy year. However, my husband decides he wants to buy me something. <laughs> Mother's Day is coming up. My birthday is coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. And of course you have Christmas. I think more than likely all of my buy will be like towards the end of the year. But I'll definitely show you guys everything that I purchased. But I can't make you any promises. <laughs> so that's that. But either which way, you guys, 2023 was definitely filled with bags that I really liked, um, that I saw. I felt like I couldn't walk away from. And they've actually served its purpose. So I don't have any complaints. I don't have any regrets whatsoever with any of these bags that I'm going to show you because I liked every single one of them. So let's go ahead and get into these bags. All right, you guys, so first and foremost is going to be this extremely cute Longchamp bag. You guys would have seen me unbox this and do like a little mini quick review on it um, early in the year, I would say right around April. So this is actually the Longchamp Le Pliage collection pouch. It's really cute. I like the way it looks. It really is a great outing bag, a great New Year's bag, something to kind of like, you know, take you out on the town or whatever like that. That's the type of bag that this is. I was happy when I purchased this. I actually got it online from um, Longchamp. It just looks like a mirror ball. I like it. I think it's cute. I like bags like this that kind of stands out. So um, this is my style all the way. So when I saw it, I really liked it. But like I said, I think it served its purpose. And I also have a little insert, if you can kind of see. And I think it's really, really cute. Um, so I think that was the biggest thing that I love the most when I purchased this bag because I didn't think I would find an insert. I thought it was just going to be like one big hole of me trying to like find things or whatever like that. So I liked it. All right, you guys, so keeping with Longchamp, this right here, I would have to say, is actually my best purchase for the year. Um, a lot of you actually purchased this bag as well. This bag right here, you guys, you would have seen me talk about this bag. I purchased it from Nordstrom. Um, they had their annual sale like they always do. The bag's really cute. And they only had, at the time when I went in there, like three bags. Um, it's so cute that my mom actually wanted to get one because she's not close to like a Nordstrom. I had to go to the one that's close to me and then send her that bag or whatever like that back to her um, because the Nordstrom that she's near is 
well, she's not near it, it's really far. She got probably, if I'm not mistaken, the last bag. So I kind of like zipped back over to Nordstrom. I went to the area that I got it from and was gone. And the salesperson that helped me, she was like, the lady who saw you with this bag, she went back, she got one. And then I'm glad I went back because like I told my mom, if I didn't go back, you probably wouldn't have gotten this bag. And I linked it. And I think a few of you got it. Some of you weren't able to get it because this particular color ran out, but they did have the black and white one. Um, so it was still cute nonetheless. I like the fact that this bag actually holds so much and it comes with a strap. So this particular bag was literally on my hip almost half of the year, whatever. And you can tell because the handles aren't as rigid anymore. They're very loose. You can see like I used this bag. <laughs> this was like the best bag that I got this year, whatever like that. So I was very, very happy with this particular bag. Um, and I'm glad I picked it up. So it was actually cheaper in Nordstrom than it was online. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so keeping with Nordstrom because um, I picked up a few things during their Nordstrom sale or whatever like that. They really have some good finds or whatever. So this particular bag <laughs> I picked up, well, let me say my mom bought it for me. So it was a birthday gift. Um, so I was very happy um, with that. I love, 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 love this bag. I love the material. I love this drawstring. Um, it was actually my very first Kurt Geiger. So this is the Kurt Geiger drawstring bucket bag. So I love how this bag looks. It's very cute, very dainty. So, I mean, it holds a lot. I think what I like the most was a strap. It's a very, very thick strap and it came with a coin attachment. So I was happy about that. I love the fact that they did that. And again, I love this particular strap. I love thicker straps, you guys, because I think it sits well on my shoulders. I've told you guys that before. It just works for me. So I was very happy with this particular strap when I saw it. Um, I think the only thing with this bag is that it is very hard to get into. Like when you undo the drawstring, um, it's still so stiff. But I think over time, it'll kind of loosen up a little bit, just like how my um, long shot with the straps that kind of loosened up. I think this will do the same. It is leather, so I think that's why it's going to take a little bit of time to just loosen up for the most part. But other than that, um, I think I don't have any issues. I like the bag itself. It's very comfortable. And again, the material is definitely what sold me. And I have no regrets at all. All right, so one of my other purchases um, in 2023 was this really cute tote bag. It is YSL, or let me say Saint Laurent. So um, they have these bags that are out, these tote bags. Very, very inexpensive. I think this one is like $75, and yes, you're thinking to yourself, why is this small little tote bag <laughs> that you can't really fit anything in? $75, because of Saint Laurent. I don't make the rules, I don't make the price, it is what it is. But they have, um, every single year they come out with little sayings, this one says everything now. You can see the Saint Laurent right there on the front. It's a cute tote bag, you guys. I mean, it's something where if you live in the city, if you're going shopping and you're only picking up a few items, take the bag with you. I mean, you have a stylish designer bag <laughs> that you're using to take with you grocery shopping. If you're not doing too much, take the bag it's cute you can literally go on a lunch date what have you you can actually use it as a book bag as well if you're in school if you don't have too many heavy books or whatever like that but me personally I think the tote is cute I like it um you can't tell just by looking at it that it's a Saint Laurent and that's just what it is but I think this is once again if you wanted to get a bag from Saint Laurent this definitely is a starter bag it's a tote bag if you're into tote bags such as this these bags are kind of like everywhere as far as like tote bags some people are just into their laid back style and I think this works for that so they still have these particular bags I don't know which um style or phrase they have out now but definitely go on the website and look it up I will definitely do my part to link if I can if you guys are interested in this but it's a cute outing bag so I like it all right, you guys, so last but not least, um, the purchase that I love, of course, I'm a little bit biased, <laughs> that I made in 2023 was this absolutely adorable Kate Spade medium satchel bag. 
Um, you guys know my love for Kate Spade. I have always loved Kate Spade. I literally purchased Kate Spade when I was in college um, and I have not stopped purchasing since. I push Kate Spade hardcore <laughs> because I love the styles of her bags. I love the quality of the bags. Um, all of the quirky styles that they come out with, I love those. I haven't got my hands on all of them, but at some point um, when I can, I'll look up all the bags that I wasn't able to purchase when it comes to the little quirky bags that they have, and I'll probably get some. But this bag is cute. It holds a good amount. It opens up very wide, and I do like that. And once again, the strap itself is pretty thick. So it is just one big compartment with a few little compartments on the side and I love the heart hang tag so it's cute I love the color block I love the spades on there the flower spades it just it's a pretty bag and it's a great spring bag as well so that's normally when I will tend to use it right around this time going towards spring so you know we are still into our neutral colors and everything like that but me personally I wear bright colors I wear spring like bags any time of the year because that's just what I do <laughs> all right but either which way I really like this bag it was actually on sale and I did get it from the Kate Spade boutique where I'm from so yeah all right you guys so that is it that was my purchases of 2023 like I said it wasn't a lot because I definitely was on a no spend year um again I think I'm going to try to be on a no spend year this year however things tend to come up I have no idea. Listen, once again, like I said, if I'm gifted anything <laughs> manifesting, I will take it. I will tell you guys about it and I will put it on here. If I get anything for my husband, for my birthday, for Christmas, whatever it is, I will definitely tell you guys about that as well. Because again, I'm not the one that's buying. It's either going to be them or him. <laughs> so that's just what it is. But me personally, no bags, all right? I plan to use all my bags that I have here in the closet, and I'm going to try to do like a bag of the week, as well as what fits in that bag, so that way you guys can kind of get an idea of how I style the bag, how I use the bag on a daily basis, because I want to get into the habit of using all of my bags, all of my clothes, and kind of just see what I have. I'm trying not so much to be a minimalist, because I really don't think that I can be, because I have way too many sneakers and way too many bags but <laughs> we'll see all right i am trying to downsize when it comes to my clothes and everything because i think once i get ready to do my closet i don't want to have any kind of like damage or anything like that i want to be able to just have what i use and that's it so either which way that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know what to do if you don't like comment share subscribe and i'll see you in the next video